In this lesson, we'll add user accounts to our web application so that users can sign up and they can log in. Also, we're gonna disable the setting that's by default in all projects, which allows clients to modify the database directly. So this thing we were doing of inserting elements like that on the console and having that modify the real database on the server is no longer gonna be allowed. Um, that's just, I'm, just because I want to show you how to do that in, in a lot of cases, you will not want that to happen in a production application. Although in some other cases, maybe you will. There's the freedom that you have. So let's look into the user accounts aspect first. There are two packages we're going to install. I've already installed them, so I'm not gonna press enter, but one of them is called accounts UI, and that gives you a button, that, um, a template that you can add anywhere in your application that gives you a quick, it, a quick option for, um, for user login and sign up, and then accounts password, which gives us the ability to uh, log in with password, so username and password. There are other accounts uh, packages available, uh, such as Facebook login and Twitter login and some others. Those are all, there, there's plenty of documentation on how to set up each one. So you can add two packages like this, just in the same line, separate them by space, and that will add the packages. So I've done that already, and once you do it, you can easily add this template called login buttons. So let's save that and see how that, what that looks like. See how that gives me already this um, login thing. I already, I was already logged in because I already installed it, but I'm gonna sign up and pretend I never did. This is what it's gonna look like in your end, on your end. So you can create a new account like hello one at example.com and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I'm now logged in. I can change my password if I want to. I can, I can sign out. So that's a very quick way of having a login functionality. Obviously, you can style this with CSS however you want, and you don't have to use the, the account's UI. You can use, uh, sorry, you don't have to use the template like that. You can also render the form in our, in a, directly each field if you want. So um, the other thing that I wanted to do in this lesson is disable this client side ability to insert or modify data on the database. Let's take a look at what packages are currently installed by typing in meteor list. That will show you all the packages that are currently installed in your application. So as you can see, we have the passwords and so we will talk about some, some other things here um, in the future, but it's important to know that all of this comes by default. The only things we added are these two and moment. So take a look at this one called insecure. This allows database write from the client. That's what we've been doing. So we can remove that by typing in meteor, remove insecure. And now, as you will see, once this refreshes, we are no longer able to enter stuff in the database in this manner. So if I try that again, uh, insert failed, access deny. And in the next lesson, we'll look into how we can do it now that we've disabled it in the client side. It'll have to be done on the server side, but we still want that instant feeling of the Meteor, of Meteor apps. That's called uh, an optimistic UI where you change something and it changes on the client right away. It sends it to a server, if there's any issue in the server, it'll let you know, and then it, the entry will not be shown. Obviously, not everything is good for all cases, so you'll have to see if that suits your particular needs. So to summarize, what we did here was to add password support for user accounts and to add this uh, ability to have these templates that we can use for login. We use this one, login buttons, which is really easy. And obviously, we haven't done any styling, any CSS, um, it will look better once we do some of that with, uh, with Twitter Bootstrap. But for now, uh, that's what we have. And in the next lesson, we'll look into methods. That's another core component of, of Meteor that we haven't looked into yet.